Hello there. Welcome, welcome to the Kire Vaku Yapping Sessions, where I will talk about stuff that happening around me. And then this is definitely not a trap that trying to trap you looking at this loop and everything while I'm chatting about things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> So let me introduce myself. My name is Kiri Vaku, and my uh, I am your host and your voice for the voice. Here's entertain you, and may or may not, one of the tangents start talking about. Um, today yapping show d doesn't really have too much things to yap about. Like usually, I talk about like what happening around me this week. Um, today there's not a lot of activity, so I just have like a minimum amount of stuff that I can talk about. Um, so I'm just going for like straightforward, a little bit uh, yapping, a little bit like talking, a little bit like um, yeah, I have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> so let's move along to it, to our VEP yapping sessions. Basically, it's a little bit on the activity of the VEP members. So let's go ahead and take a look on Nana. Um, around this week, she played a little bit of. Overwatch 1. Yeah, I was trying to say Overwatch 2, but I hate to tell you, it's slowly coming into Overwatch 1. I saw a meme before, it's literally like they slowly convert, change stuff, this and that, the game mechanic. Now now they have 66. I can play back as sub tag again, baby! <laughs> but still. Yeah. 636 is kind of back, so like. There's no justification for Overwatch 2 anymore. There's no PvE, there's no like 5v5 5, like uniqueness in there anymore. It's basically just Overwatch 1 with a new business mechanic, just that, nothing more. Alright, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> and next one and is Yagel New. Now she has imagining that what happen if she have a plushie hmm personally i do want a plushie too but my plushie would be the hardest one to make like again look at my hair how spiky it is so um it's, it's just either a is just going to look awkward or like look very like not spiky at all so it's this is going to be very difficult to make mine one but yeah, yeah i can see this like a lot of people would want it <laughs> And on next, on Haru Daluna, somebody asked the song and the part that makes you want to go all against all. Basically, it's like, you know, like you, you, you in games is just like getting pummeled and then that song come out for Haru is like. If you don't, if you don't know about this music, like the Tiga take me from, take me flop, uh, take me higher, is it's basically this. Um, Ultraman in Malaysia is actually quite famous for quite a long period of time. Even now, there's still lots of people watching Ultraman, uh, in Malaysia. It's basically because like uh, our like Saturday night cartoon, uh, or like kids shows, uh, we have like this repeat showcase of Ultraman Tiga. Uh, in the in the TV7, I think it's TV7. Yeah, so it's um so basically every children in Malaysia more or less got a little bit exposed by Ultraman like uh Ultraman TV show, and we all especially Ultraman Tiga, Daya is there too, but Tiga is the one that showed the most and then the most popular one in Malaysia. So, well I. It's not really like most popular in Malaysia, it's more like most recognizable in Malaysia because they just play that show non-stop for some reasons. <laughs> repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. I'm not kidding. And uh, everyone been listening to the opening song so many times. Even I I watch a few uh, Ultraman song, uh, Ultraman like series. And I still feel like Tiga opening is still the best one. Same with like I watch a lot of like um Kamen Rider. I still at the end think the Kamen Rider RX Black or Black RX, I forgot which one, but they they have they still have the best opening. 
well, again, just for me, my personal opinion. How about is your opinion on this kind of opening? Which kind of song that made you this kind of things do? You can type down in the comment sections. And oh, let's move on to the next one on Cornelius, which he want to give some shout out or some specific and particular personnel from our VEP collab, uh, not VEP collab, VEP campaign uh, that we do like a lot of like different like uh, game uh gameplay through this and that yeah that stuff it's like a very special campaign that everyone play that one specific game and then like uh, it's more or less like an advertisement but also at the same time it's like you know everyone just trying to have fun together hey guys just want to give a quick shout out to mario bueno not only was he a participant in my pro wrestling game show square circle base simple not only is he a game developer for the pro wrestling visual novel kokoro no pro he is also a musician. He's currently in a competition called America's Next Top Hitmaker. Uh, so if you click on uh, this QR code down below here, or if you click on the link uh, attached to this post, you can vote for him. So go give a support uh, to him, folks. He is an amazing individual. That's all for me now. Cornelius Lo. out. Hey. All right. Thank you very much, Cornelius. And you're very, very... Uh good shout out <laughs> yeah i'm not really good at do again I, i'm not really good at advertising shout out and stuff he he have a very good voice for doing like that like that, that there's a lot of like different way to do like a very like, advertising voice like he have a very good one for me i don't really have one like even i have one i don't have any like built up language for like specifically for like advertisement i only i only can manage to sound like i'm speaking english that's the only thing. And then move on to the next one on Miziori, of course. She finally got her hair. Now her hair short on. It's like one and a half year long. Oh, wow. Like I didn't cut my hair for like um about four months or five months. And my hair my hair already like blocked my entire uh, almost blocked half of my face, like some very sus um anime characters <laughs> like basically just like that basically just like that so like one and a half year is a very long year i wonder if she donate her like the the hat that the amount of hat that she got cut who knows maybe she did maybe she didn't some people actually didn't most people actually <laughs> not just some but yeah and moving on, that is actually almost all the VEP members, but th there is one almost VEP related uh, activity since like almost everyone there is a VEP member, so I'm just going to show that to you. And Mizuyori, uh, Nuri, Azuzu is in Elfie channels that doing a special stream that is a Totsumachi roleplay. Yep, they are there and then like have a lot of like uh, fun times. Over there and then like earning fake money <laughs> nah 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 it's israel israel and everything hard but yeah it's, it's a it's a very fun episode so if anyone wants to like give it a little bit of a look and you can go to like elfie uh vtuber channel and you guys can take a look uh into elfie channels uh like stream archive and then watch a little bit of that this is actually quite bingeable stuff too so yeah and on to the next one on a very special cast news that as you guys already can see this is a highlight that one of the special watch along opening for a special Pawawa PDC uh, PVD, uh, PDC uh, VTuber showcase uh, where she will be debuting and a lot of various different kind of vtuber it will be also doing a very mass and wide watch along guess who is in there you can see like if you watch a lot of my uh, vp stuff you might know quite a lot of like different um silhouette from everyone here and you might kind of notice some very green silhouette persons there yes <laughs> aside from that yeah let's move on to the final final bp thing that is bluffy jam congratulations finally reaching 800 subscriber 
with just 33 video holy heck like in including my stream and the video i output so far i output so many video and then i just managed to finally reach 250 mark <laughs> yeah 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 I i'm trying hard man <laughs> I'm trying hard, but congratulations, Fluffy, that you finally reached like 800 subscriber. I uh, will one day, sooner or later enough, we'll bridge partnership and then finally get Super Chat in there so people can sort of like order um, my art commissions without any like hassle there. Yeah, yeah. All right, that will be all of the VB stuff, and then let's move on to the next one. Also, it's basically just general things that are happening around the internet. Let's take a look. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is a little bit bad. So, Prima. Even Star. The Pony VTuber. Wait, it's not Pony. The Fox VTuber. <laughs> that do a lot of like um, news and stuff. Uh, she's finally reaching like 10k follower in her um twitter yes you cannot guide me to say the other word i would choose i will still call this twitter no matter how and why no matter how much the other people are bitching about it i will still call it twitter okay all right next one of course of course of mental course is Ryu. Is super important to me as somebody who has struggled with mental health as long as i can remember i want to spread awareness and help in the best way that i can uh, I will be starting a podcast called Regrow and Reborn, so stay tuned for updates on that. Yes, this is a PSA video and advertisement from Ryu, Ryu that she will do a little bit, as you already can see, in like mental health uh, care, not so, not in, not a little bit like me. But the problem is, I will always tell everyone that I'm not a professional psychiatrist, so um, even though my Sometimes what I say is a little bit soothing, but also at the same time, try not to like, um, you know, follow what I say one to one. I'm not a psychiatrist in the first place, so I might guide you the wrong way. <laughs> yes, yes, but yeah, pay attention to real podcast then. If you guys have a little bit of issues in your life that you might need to share a little bit or want to listen to stuff a little bit, just to have a little bit of uh, relaxing time have a moment to share something like that so yeah and moving along to the next one too and uh, this is a little bit um special because it's like malaysian malaysia related as you can see it in here is doki bukit pintang project which is uh bukit pintang have this like very big tv screen there that's doing like a lot of advertisement there's a group of dragoons in malaysia they are decided to put Toki onto that screen <coughs> on a billboard screen so they are doing a fundraiser to actually uh manage to put uh Doki on that screen with a lots of various different uh fan art been drawn in there if i uh, recall it correctly uh if it's not then don't 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 like call it on me okay <laughs> And then everyone have their own donation tier, this and that, yeah, that stuff. So the artwork will show like uh, generally like Doki in Malaysia. So there's a lot of things. Like imagine like you just like walking around. Like usually that billboard is just showing like some um, makeup, makeup ads or like some phone ads, and then suddenly Doki is just there. Huh? I wonder who this is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That would be a little bit hilarious on that point, but yeah, generally things is like that. And uh, I may not have the money to actually to sponsor this kind of stuff. I do want to do a little bit of contribution by doing this too. So yeah, everyone, if you guys are uh, Malaysians and quite interested in this kind of things and want to support Doki and this kind of effort, you guys can do a little bit of donation from this. And you just have to go to Twitter and then find the Doki Bukit Bintang project. And then find this channel, uh, find this particular uh, Twitter channel, and then you guys can uh, do a little bit of support, this and that, yeah, that stuff. I will also put that Ko-Fi um, link into my descriptions, not description, into my comment sections, and everyone who click into it, they will be able to find this. Yeah. And onward. 
to the next one on another fellow Malaysian VTuber, Sayuzu. Uh, I, 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 I keep I keep mixing up the name of another VTuber. <laughs> ah, sorry there, Shazu. And she and her Twitch. Is it Twitch? I'm not really sure it's Twitch or not. I, I, I got a little bit confused because of the UI. But as you guys can see, she has finally, finally reached 200 followers on Twitchy! Yes, finally! Congratulations, Pachi Pachi Pachi! I used to have 250 ish and then slowly downward spiral into 200. Uh, actually, low, below 200. Because I don't stream in Twitch anymore. So everyone just like <laughs> unfollowed me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so yeah i do still some time out the stream onto twitch but only on my art stream aside from that nothing more uh and then onward to the next one and this is finally someone actually notices <laughs> yes not not a lot of things to talk about just this uh hollow life did a very like special uh group stream to uh on a specific day and then everyone is a muppet and then finally someone noticed that the reference of the Muppet is actually that uh, is actually this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's uh, I, I think like peop younger pe kids like this day that they, they don't grow up on Sesame Street anymore. So I I think like a lot of kids would not know the reference at all. Um maybe like a little bit of people around my generation and older generation that will immediately notice it. But aside from that, like the very weeny one, we'll just have no idea. <laughs> they just see a haha funny mu Muppet show. <laughs> yep. Alright then. The last one. Nah, I'm not really want to show this, but I can like talk about this. I actually had a dream. I had a dream. A few days ago, uh, that's like I was doing like a big international, big TV street, uh, TV host streaming. I'm literally like doing something like this, but I was like um, showing a particular um, software that I need to do an add on. But the moment I click into the software, I'm trying to scroll left and right to see like it's it's like a it's like a video platform that specially showcase on like gameplay this and that and stuff but when i go in there like holy heck there's a lot of yabai game is playing in there i didn't notice it until like i look closely into it and then i scroll downward try to skip it and then the ads there is just all kinds of like triple x stuff and then i was like panicking holy shit what is this what is that this is not even my computers who's using this computer <laughs> Yes, that's basically that kind of situation happened to me. I was like, holy shit, in that dream, I just like woke up immediately from that is like a freaking nightmare of every single VTuber suddenly like seeing something and show it off to like the entire, entire international TV too. I was like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be the story of the day. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay healthy, stay safe. Until next time, stay tuned on the next stream and video. Bye-bye.